Hello everyone, we are going to sail the Mediterranean seas and travel to the Greek islands. In this first video, we are going to Athens, the capital of Greece. Unfortunately, we only have 24 hours to spend in Athens. And while it might seem like rushing it, you'd be surprised how much you can actually pack in one day. That this is part one of a three-part video on the Greek islands. In upcoming videos, we will go to Mykonos, then travel to remote Greek villages in Zakynthos, also known as Zanti. Greece is located in the southeastern part of Europe, near Albania, Italy, and Turkey. There are 6,000 islands scattered far and wide across the eastern Mediterranean, of which 227 are inhabited. People from all over the world flock to Greece, especially during the summertime. This Mediterranean country has it all. Great beaches, wonderful food, friendly people, history, and culture. Due to its reasonably southern location on the Mediterranean, Greece is blessed with wonderful weather during the spring, summer, and autumn months. From top-tier destinations such as Mykonos to quiet, authentic mountain villages in Zakynthos, there's something to appeal to every type of traveler. Every island seems to have its own little gem. It goes without saying that there are endless water sports such as kayaking, sailing, windsurfing, and kite surfing, to name a few. And we arrived after our long journey from the United States. We arrived during the evening, and thank goodness the customs line wasn't long at all. After checking into our hotel, we immediately started exploring the city. Fortunately, Athens is a manageable destination to visit in one day, with lots of attractions concentrated in a fairly compact area. Its central, vibrant neighborhoods are dotted with ancient ruins, so you are able to explore many sites. Just be ready with those walking shoes. This is the Acropolis in Athens, Greece at nighttime. We stayed very close to the Plaka district, and our hotel not only had expansive views of the Parthenon, but it was also just a short walking distance to the entrance. What a sight. We are in Athens, Greece. Pretty cool down this street over here. Another street. We're about to go down this street over here. The Plaka district is where everyone goes during sundown. There are many hillside cafes and bars and rooftop restaurants with awesome views of the Acropolis. This picture was taken at 10 p.m. at night, and as you can see, no one is anxious to go home. We did an early start in the morning with complimentary breakfast from our hotel. And they didn't skimp on breakfast at all, with a variety of cheeses, yogurts, eggs, hams, fruits, pastries, and of course, gotta have your olives. Some Greek yogurt with honey and spinach spanak pita for breakfast. Today we are in Athens, Greece, and we are going to visit the Acropolis and visit
visit the Parthenon. It's up. See it in the background, right there. We planned to get to the Acropolis before they opened as we read about the long lines to get in. Walking to the Acropolis was a breeze actually since our hotel was just a short walking distance away. The Acropolis was built in 5th century BC and is today one of the most famous Greek monuments. This ancient complex comprises of several temples of which the most famous is the Parthenon, dedicated to the goddess Athena. And due to ongoing reconstruction, the Parthenon had scaffolding covering a large portion of it, and restoration has been going on for the last 30 years. We are at the Acropolis today, and behind me is the Parthenon, and the Parthenon is a structure dedicated to Athena. It was built in 447 BC, so yes, definitely very, very old. And as we left the Acropolis, this was the line of people trying to get in. Having an early start definitely helped, especially during the scorching summer heat. We then proceeded to go to the Acropolis Museum. Although some people may disagree, I actually recommend going to the Acropolis Museum even if you only had one day. And if you do get to go, allow for an hour and a half at the least. What I found truly fascinating was beneath the Acropolis Museum are ruins of an ancient Athenian neighborhood. Clearly visible are the remains of streets and houses, bathhouses and workshops. In what was initially considered a controversial move, the museum was constructed above these ancient grounds. This owl, which was found during an excavation, caught our eye in the museum. The owl is seen in many places throughout Athens, especially gift shops. The owl was thought to represent the wisdom and foresight of Athena. We decided to go back to the Plaka district, and it's just as lively during the day as it is during nighttime. We stumbled into kind of like a downtown type of place. You can see it over there. And up there, where is it? Mm, up there, you can see the Acropolis. Monastiraki Square is a small square adjacent to the old city and definitely the most charming one in the city center with wonderful views of the Acropolis. The buildings date back to the most significant historical periods of the city. In the center, there is a lovely Byzantine church of the 10th century AD. Visiting Athens in one day is most likely if Athens is a port of call during a cruise 
or a very very long stopover before you jet off the Greek islands. This wraps up our 24 hours in Athens. Coming up next, Mykonos and Zakynthos. See you soon!